what's up boys and girls this is my quick uh, first impressions quick run through of my uh, Kubuntu work setup so basically um, it's 16 gigs RAM it's an older Optiplex um, I have uh, it's i7 8th gen generation not too shabby um, I'm sorry third generation is a little older um, and eight cores I found the old Radeon video card video card again pretty old but better than nothing um, and just try to beef it up as much as I could um, so it's it was running pretty good for a while with pop and over time though I just got to see that the boot time I don't know if it was always long and I just got out of the uh, uh, the honeymoon stage with pop OS and I started to notice how long it took to boot probably because maybe the GPU and CPU like the the, the Radeon wasn't the best and it's it was an older um, hard drive that I was using um, even though I had 16 gigs of RAM it still wasn't this wasn't enough 16 gram, 16 gigs of RAM can't fix everything you know it has to be a mix of the quality of the hard drive too and so over time I think it just got caught up with me and so Pop OS started lagging a little bit apps took several seconds like 10 to 14 seconds just to launch and in my line of work I'm kind of, I'm, I'm the equivalent of a scrum master at my job and I just need to be fast you know if I accidentally click out an app and had to restart it or I need to switch between two or three constantly um, I got it has to be fast you know um, and so after a major demo with a client I was like I think it's time to you know now I can just wipe everything and redo everything so I found a really old SSD that was like 60 60 uh, gigs and I, I used that as the mount for the operating system and then used the older hard drive that's 250 gigs as the home directory and you know I'm using plasma so already that's going to be a performance boost um, but on top of that uh, my boot time and closing the machine down phew, like a dream love it um, so yeah so I and I made to because pop was so nice um, and I actually like cosmic um, a little bit I, I didn't have it too too long but enough for me to like it um, and say that it's definitely an improvement overall um, so I did have to change the font to Ubuntu condensed to give me a pop feel um, and so that's why my font looks like this and I I'm gonna be honest with you I've been using this machine for like two days and I'm forgetting I'm using plasma that's how much of a font change did to me that might be just me for you you might be like no that's not enough but I here's my here's a deal between the GTK based stuff versus the QT based stuff QT is cooler GTK is in terms of a UX UI standpoint standpoint GTK is better if that makes sense if you want to go crazy on your desktop to make it look cool QT all the way plasma uh, is a perfect canvas to do that but if you want a clean um, and more elegant desktop environment I, I have to say it has to be one of the GTKs I'm not saying it's going to be like always one over the other, like Pop OS, Cosmic over, you know, Ubuntu and their version of GNOME and the tweaks they did. It's impossible. But 
you know you I think that's the rule of thumb there Q, you know plasma is cooler but GTK based desktop environments are better overall um, you know maybe you have of course you got to talk about the specifics of the distro you know like I wouldn't put Solus in, in the top three you know uh, I would say probably Pop OS Ubuntu and maybe some third third one you know maybe even vanilla fedora might be even better than solus i think solus menus and options are just too fragmented just can't really the raven panel is just i don't it can't so anyways um i like the variation of their application launcher here um it's nothing new you know but uh, it, it it works again. The spacing here that they they it looks like they increase some spacing. It's not as tight and cluttered. Um, it's uh, the default size of this is I think really good. You know it takes a good what, what like twenty what thirty percent of the screen real estate from a, if you look broke it up in quarter panels. You know it's def it's yeah definitely more than a quarter. Um, and I think it's just big enough and just small enough before it's offensive how big it can be so, and yeah I just I like it um, I like the spacing I almost I, I was about to change it because I like having the whole like unity like pop-up but I decided to keep this and it's responsive as you can see um, everything looks clean uh, my only this is one of my gripes with um, with with plasma is I don't need the, all these I don't need all of this I don't need a lock screen I don't need to leave I don't need to enter edit mode I don't need to show activity switcher with a right click um, I might not even have to add a panel with a right click y'all come on why would I add a panel with a right click widgets maybe because I place that right on the desktop but add a panel from a right click show K runner from a right click refresh desktop okay fine come on though icons that makes sense because I, I could delay up I could rearrange icons but that might even be something they could do in settings you know elementary's philosophy is that if you want to change something you gotta go to that thing settings you can't just have these side doors into those uh, into the configurations of changing something and I think there's something to that um, I'm not even crazy with open with dolphin but I guess that's a traditional thing this obviously stays but you know this is the kind of one of the gripes there's just way too many options um, I was messing around with uh, I changed the theme too, by the way. Maybe we should take a look at what's the theme I'm using. Uh, Breeze Dark. I like their their update to dark. It seems darker. I like it. Like the dark. Like I said, it got darker with a little deeper charcoal gray. Looks like. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just, you know, stuck on the newness. Then I'm kind of giving it a false praise, but. I think they did some tweaks to the color scheme here. I really like it. Um, let's see here. Windows decorations. I ended white sir dark with the rounded corners. Really nice touch. Again, here's my fonts. Just did one or two. The title bar to 16 and general to 12 point makes a big difference those two icons I put what did I put paper or steel papyrus steel and that's really it you know um I really like it uh Maybe maybe reading this is a little more difficult with the Bluetooth Condense. I don't know. 
So far, I'm not really straining, so I think the font's gonna work. But we'll give it a good week of work, and will that be the true test? But um, I just needed. I, I just maybe you know maybe I should have put Pop OS on it with the uh, SSD and really given it a shot, but. I was just so frustrated with how long things took to, to load like chat, like Google chat. We know Google is bloated, we know that, but if I have 16 gigs of RAM, I'm, I'm not, I can't tolerate that. I just can't tolerate that. I can't tolerate um, waiting 14 seconds to open KSNP. KSNP is awesome, awesome uh, screenshot tool. The newer versions kind of have it live in the you know system tray here. Not crazy about that. I'd, uh, I'd rather use it as a traditional app with app placement. Thankfully, you could change that, but you know opening this up shouldn't take 14 to 16 seconds and I actually had had the window disappear on me more than a few times where I had to like pretend I'm gonna quit or save and then that's when I'll see the window pop up that was probably more that's not K snips fault but it could be just you know pop OS thing cosmic all the changes they're doing but yeah, I even have OBS sometimes the, the, the tray would disappear and I'll, I'll launch it and it'll tell me it's already running and I can't find it. So, I, you know, I just, those small things add up to, for me, you know. Um, so I'm back on Plasma and made it look like GTK. I guess you could summarize it that way. And so far, so good looks really nice I don't know what you guys think what do you guys think this looks sweet or not um, so yeah let me know what you think how do you tweak plasma do you guys stick with the defaults or you guys tweak your hearts away with that said enjoy the day and catch you guys in the next one